Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Lydia here from Screw the Cubicle. And I uh, hope you're here online, wherever you are in the world, joining me today to talk about how you can share your gifts with the world and launch a business uh, that you're proud to call your work uh, and how to create meaningful work, uh, but also really not feeling overwhelmed on all the steps that you think is necessary uh, to launch a business. Because I, I've been there before where you stood today, uh, five years ago when I launched my, my first two businesses. And I obviously work with a lot of people in launching businesses these days. Um, and the amount of people that come to me that say how overwhelmed they are, all the things, but it's necessary uh, to launch a business, um, I can definitely understand why it sounds super stressful. So this is what we're going to talk about today, what you should be focusing on, uh, depending on the stage of business that you're in, and how to actually eliminate on all the have to do's uh, and instead focus on what you actually need to do uh, to launch an effective and successful business and really be focusing your time and energy on the things that matter in, in a logical sequence of an order so that you're not feeling like you have too many hats on. And, you know, a lot of you guys are uh, in full-time work right now, working still in a job. And so your time is your commodity right now, right? You may only have two or three hours a week to work on your business. So all that time is really precious. What you should be focusing on and growing matters to the successful piece of launching a business. And I want to sort of give a reality check today uh, on, on where you should be spending your time. So before I continue, I'm just going to double check that I am um, broadcasting. And if you let me know where you're from, um, if you have a business idea that you've been waiting to launch for a long time now, but you haven't, uh, I would love to know what you're feeling um, stressed about. What are you feeling that you need some of your questions answered that I can absolutely answer for you today on this live stream? Okay, so say hello to me and let me know that you're here. Um, and hopefully this is broadcasting perfectly fine, if it looks like it is in my end. Okay, so let's start with, um, you know, the business that you want to share. So it might be this business idea you've had in the back burner for a long time, but you've been sort of doing all that research, right? You've been reading blogs, you've been reading articles, you've been doing all the things that you think is necessary to launch, maybe focusing on a lot of the shiny things, right? You look at other people's businesses, and I'm sure you've been following people, right, in your industry or following people you admire, influencers that you admire. Um, you see the finished product a lot of the times, right? Their websites, their programs, uh, how they make money. Um, and a lot of the times you see all this work out of that, and you think you have to focus on that piece, right, the marketing pieces, the branding pieces, um, you know, all the sort of shiny, pretty things that you think is what causes business to be successful. Um, but the reality check is there's a lot of planning uh, and a lot of sort of the unsexy work that is not the marketing pieces that actually needs to be solved first in order for your marketing actually to be effective. And in order for you to even understand what to talk about and how to communicate the value of your business uh, to other people. Right. Um, so if you are joining me live on this conversation today, I would love to see on the comments um, section underneath this video of what have you been spending your time doing? What has been taking up your time and you're feeling like perhaps you're not getting a lot of traction on it? Um, what do you think is missing from finally being able to work with people and being proud and confident about the offer that you have uh, that you want to charge money for, right? We'd love to sort of, if you are watching and what your comments are about your launch of your business. So many of us that are probably watching this video are people like me, right? People that enjoy work and they actually want to create work that matters to them, create work that feels meaningful and be helping people that um, are their ideal clients, right? People that can really benefit from the work that you do. And even if you're a little vague about what that offer is, inside you very much likely know 
um, if you could do this type of work, you know, if you could, if this direction of work that you're going to be doing, it would make you make you really joyful and happy. Uh, you may not know how to package it up, and you may not know all the sort of moving parts of how to present this into the world. But you know that you want to help people, and you know that if only people knew about what you did, and they could know about um, how committed you are to their success or their achievements or their goals, um, they communicate uh, in order to reach that connection, right? That intimacy of that communication that allows people to be in your world and really understand what your work is all about. So I started this conversation around, you know, this overwhelm, right? People feel really overwhelmed around starting a business and doing all the things because right now, very likely you're flying solo, right? You are the only one responsible for your business and you have no clue where to start. And I can absolutely resonate with this because in the beginning of time when I was still learning how to have a business, really, you know, not only was I figuring out what I wanted to do, what I wanted to charge money for, you know, which is what a lot of you are experiencing right now. But then adding along to that is, you know, the digital technology <laughs> that can come with online businesses that overwhelms you again because you're like, oh, my God, there's just so much learning that is required for me to launch a business. And if I knew what I knew today, I would probably go back in time five years ago and talk to myself five years ago and said, stop focusing on so stop trying to look good in your business and instead focus on being good in your work. Right. And that is a step that I think a lot of people miss because, again, they focus on the shiny. They focus on the branding and the marketing, but then getting really stumped even on content and how their brand should be recognized because they aren't doing the necessary work in the beginning of time uh, to really themselves first identify the value of what they offer in their work uh, and be able to position themselves and their business in a way that allows the right people to be attracted to their business, right? So if you're watching this right now and that's what you are struggling with, please let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to answer certain questions that are personal to you. So whenever I describe, you know, this overwhelm of steps, um, a lot of it is not steps that you won't, won't be doing. You will be doing all these steps that you're learning about. Uh, you know, with the internet these days, you're probably watching every article, watching every blog, watching every live stream, right, that comes your way about what's necessary to launch a business. But and all those things are are right. You know, they're true to having this overall um, actions that need to happen in your business. But not all of these actions are necessary to be done all at the same time. There's sort of a sequential, logical, step-by-step -step process that is more effective, I think, uh, that, that, that you, know, you need to be focusing on in order to do this step-by-step -step and to be able to feel completion in these steps in order to feel like your business is finally out there and you're proud to show it to the world. So... I like to always use this analogy of building a house, right? Building a business is sort of very similar to building a house where you don't want to go into hiring an interior designer and decorating your house. This is the marketing bits and the branding bits, right? The pretty things of your website. Um, you wouldn't do that when you build a house, right? You would initially hire, you know, first of all, you probably need to get a land surveyor, make sure that the foundations of what your house is sitting on is solid. And then you might hire an architect or an engineer to make sure that the planning of the frame of the house, you know, the number of rooms you're gonna be having, where the front door is, um, you know, all that initial frame of your house needs to be more planned out first before you actually start decorating, right? But in business, that's what we do sometimes. We make that mistake of decorating first, right? Thinking we have to have the best tagline, the best business name, the best branding, the best photography, all the things that make the decor look really good, but actually not focusing on the foundations of our business, right? So the foundations is really the first step. And in most likely for most of you that are watching right now, it's in that stage one of business, which is your foundations. And your foundations are really about your own understanding about the value of your work. Like, what is it that you're solving for people? What are the main problems you know, you can't just call yourself a title like I'm a copywriter because that is not what you're selling results of communication and copy that's effective for people's sales pages or websites, whatever you do. But the problems you actually solve are much more detailed than that. 
you know, you're le learning, you know, perhaps part, part of the problem that you solve as a copywriter, for example, is being able to help people find their story and find the nuggets of stories that, re that relate most to their business, that connects most effectively with their clients. Um, you could be helping your clients find their voice and that style of influence that's actually going to position themselves in a, as an authority in their business rather than just writing copy, right? That's not as inspirational for people to say yes to rather than the process of what it takes for you to be a, a good copywriter and for them to get amazing copy for their website, for example. You know, so this foundation stage, stage one is all about foundations, you know, understanding the message that you have behind your business, like who do you want to help and why do you want to help these people? And what is that big message you want to deliver through your work? You know, maybe it is about storytelling. Maybe it is about um, how connection can happen through better communication, right? Whatever that message is, it's got to be a strong message that people can buy into versus just the copywriting bits or the results because there's other people that will do the work that you do. So what is a more tangible piece of your work? Uh, that can be very, very relevant and people can resonate with it a bit more. Stage as well. With It shouldn't be everybody in the, in the entire world. And it absolutely should be a very niched amount of people that are urgently and actively seeking what you're offering. Right. There are people that if they could get their questions answered, they would put their money where their mouth is. Right. And getting really clear on who these people are, what they think about every single day, what they suffer with every single day, what is the, the, the blocks and hurdles and walls that are preventing them from doing big things with their lives. Like those are the people that we should be actually communicating to the most rather than a vast amount of people in the entire world that needs copy, right? Or whatever else that you produce. And really understanding your approach, right? So we talked about solving problems, right? That's what a, your business is built upon is to solve problems. Uh, but what are the specific pieces of problems around your business are you gonna specialize in? A job title in your business, right? We started with the copywriting example that you actually do that is more than just copy, it's more than just writing. And how you go about being a good writer or how you go about um, telling bits or finding people's voices, that process is actually really, really valuable for people to learn so that they know that by the time you're done working with them, the process it took to get there is a process that they believe in, right? It's a, a style and an approach that they are in resonance with, right? That's the piece that you want to talk about in your foundations and be really, really clear on in order to even know how to market yourself, right? And one of the big pieces about foundations work in stage one of your business is really understanding what to offer, right? You're going to business not trading dollars for hours. We are trading value for the money that you're going to be receiving for your customers. So really identif identifying your um, value that you give into the experience that you get hired for is super important to articulate, right? And that's something that people skip a lot of the steps of um, and have trouble articulating that piece uh, of why it matters for people to hire them. And it's not about the hours they put in, but actually the transformation and the process it takes to get there is the big value that you should be selling, right? And knowing what to offer, right? So when you are in a service-based business for creating time, and that can be more than just an hour. It could be a three-month package. It could be a program. It could be, um, you know, by session, whatever that may be. Whatever that package looks like for you, it needs to be able to value your time. And, and actually, that package represents that when people go through the entire process, they're going to get these amazing and, and much bigger results than hiring you hour by hour, right? It gives people an entry point and it gives people an, uh, uh, an ending point of when they start and when they finish with you. You know, there's these boundaries of work that you decide upon and that's the piece that you sell, right? That's the packaging of your, of your gifts that you sell rather than saying, just hire me by hour, which isn't very valuable to other people, right? So creating an offer of what to sell and being a master offer, your signature offer, is going to be the thing that you get known for and for you, you also know how to deliver that offer. Some people are more sort of consulting, coaching, 
style sort of um, value giving. And some of you might be better teachers, right? You might be more effective at you running more classroom style or course format to teach your knowledge and experience to people rather than a one-on-one -on -one basis, whatever that is. All of that can be packaged and all of that can give you a signature program or a, co a coaching package that allows you to earn more with your gifts rather than charge dollars for hours, right? So that is the foundations part of your business, right? Message, what's the big message in your business? Who are you ideally attracted to and can help the most? How to communicate with these people? And having an offer to sell that gives you the revenue that you need for your business. So that piece is really going to define everything else that you're going to be doing in your business, which is your marketing, your branding, your out before you really know the value of your work and the offer that you want to share is really, really hard to market your business. So that is the first stage of, of, of your business foundations. After foundations is stage two, which I call the validation stage, right? Or the beta test stage. And a lot of people also skip the stage. And I know I very well did that in the beginning of time uh, and found it really valuable when I actually launched Screw the Cubicles, my second business, for example, and actually did this the proper way, which is testing and validating my offers before it goes live, before I spend all that money with a website and branding. Um, and I really need to know for sure that the work that I'm doing is actually valuable to people. I should be charging money for this. And I have testimonials to boot before I even launch my sales page for my offer. And so a lot of you guys who do have an offer, let's say, may be in that stage of testing and validation. And it doesn't require you to have a website to do this. So this beta test and validation stage really is so valuable for you and other people Starting with you is because it gives you the confidence to actually perform in the role that you want to charge people for, right? So you're actually receiving real evidence by going through the personal humans in this beta test stage, this validation stage, in order to validate what you do, but also to refine and improve your processes as you work with people so that when you actually market you know, the offer on your website later on in the marketing stage, you're really confident about what to talk about that was really transformational for people, right? Because when you do a beta test run of your processes, when you have a small group of almost guinea pigs to test out your services or your products, um, it allows you to see what they really value, right? Part and parcel of the beta test stage is to get feedback, you know, getting feedback for what worked, what didn't work, what could be clearer, what could you create a little bit more clearly to articulate what it is that you're trying to help them with and how you help them. That could be exercises that you create. It could be the way that you perform a coaching session. Uh, it could be um, the videos that you film for a course, right? All that should be validated by real humans before you really, really launch it out there and start charging money for it. <clears throat> and I think a lot of you guys could be in this stage as well. And so another great thing about the validation stage is the testimonials, as I mentioned, having real people vouch for your work before your website gets launched is going to give you so much of confidence boost. You know, it's going to absolutely give you <coughs> the ability to actually market what you do because you've actually gone through it. You know, you have a real case study, real case studies, a lot more than that is going to allow you to really talk about the process of the work because you've gone through it, which I think is super important. And then only then you would move into the stage three, um, which is right before the launch of your business, which is the visibility stage, right? Being um, recognized and noticed for the work that you do and how to create that intimacy and connection and personalization to the ideal clients that you want to attract to your business in order to lead them from being interested to buying customers, right? And in the industry that they might call it funnels, they might call it a visibility plan, they might call it marketing, but what it is is really how you show up in your business and how you show up for other people that invites people into your work life, right? That invites people into um, asking questions from you, in, into getting value from you um, through videos, blog posts, whatever it is that you produce in the visibility stage um, that gets them trusting your credibility and building your expertise at the same time. As we know, with people buying, it doesn't take just a one-time view of you for them to go, oh, right, that's the woman or, or that's the man for me. You know, there is a nurturing process 
uh, of connecting relationship with your ideal clients and your community in order to lead people to even work with you in the first place, right? What is that visibility plan for you? And, and not about choosing every single platform to be visible on, but really the platforms and stages uh, in, in the online world that allows you to communicate in the style that you are most suited for, right? Some of you guys are better writers. Some of you guys are like me, where we're better talkers and it feels more natural that way. You wanna go with ease, right? The way of expression that feels most natural and genuine to you should be the way that you market your business and you pick the right platforms that best represent that voice for you, right? And that could be just one or two things to start. So for me, for example, I'm a great, you know, I'm a much better, better speaker and a better explainer of things when I talk. Um, and so videos and YouTube and live streams and webinars work so much better for me than trying to do things like Instagram or, um, you know, any sort of or anything like that that takes me a lot longer to produce. And so when you first start out, as I said, your time is precious. You want to be focusing on the right things that matter. And sometimes the right things that matters are the things that feels easiest to you, right? So you're in stage three of visibility, picking the right ways of expression is absolutely part and parcel of making it easy for you, right? So as you sort of see this, these three stages of business, my question to you is what stage are you in, right? Stage one is about your offer, about defining your clients, defining how you will solve problems for people. Are you there yet? And if you're not there yet, you should be focusing on that stage instead of skipping ahead and going straight into branding and marketing. And then if you do have an offer and you're going, oh, I don't know if people will buy, very likely you're in the validation stage, stage two. How can I test this and validate it and conf confirm my confidence that's necessary to actually promote this product or service I've created? And that might mean you're in stage of validation where you're recruiting and inviting beta testers to test out your, your, your services and products before you decide to launch it to the world and receive the feedback and data that's necessary to plan out your communication plan to launch your business to the world. And if you've done testing, you've been working with several people, you know, in the last few months, then you might be ready for stage three, right? Which is the visibility piece. How can you be positioned as a thought leader? How can you be positioned as an influencer? And what does your communication plan and your visibility plan look like that best expresses you in the most natural form? So don't skip the stages and also don't try to do different stages at once because you're going to get overwhelmed. So focus on the right stages that matter. So one of the things that I'm going to be talking about this week, which is happening tomorrow, uh, is my free webinar I'm running called How to Create a Thriving Business with Your Gift. So I'll send you the link over here into hopefully it appears on the screen It's bit.ly uh, forward slash thrive with your gifts you can sign up for free and i'm running a one a one hour webinar uh which is going to be may 23rd 8 p.m eastern time uh 5 p.m pacific time and it is a recorded webinar where i'm going to be going through these stages of businesses and what to focus on but also what are the things that internally you have to get really good with in order to be confident about expressing your skill sets to the world and which boundaries of skills that you're willing to contribute to your business so that you're not doing all the things for everybody uh, just because they request it. You're really, really focused on a niche of your business, focus on a niche of people and really expressing yourself, um, you know, confidently uh, as you promote your work. So I'm going to be talking all about um, how to do this and what to focus on uh, in conjunction with this live up for it as well the second thing that i want to sort of uh, uh complete this webinar or sorry this live stream with is uh a 90 day opportunity that i'm only taking on 12 people to do this with me for the next 90 days uh, it's called the 90 day launch and the 90 day launch is uh basically a mastermind and an incubator of 12 people plus myself and guest mentors that are going to come to help you out to launch all the different parts of the moving parts of your business. This becomes the foundations, right? We start with the foundations in your business models about what sort of business model should you be starting and what's that best way of creating revenue for you uh, and yourself based on your way of working and the way that you want to work. Um, we're also going to be talking about uh, and, and moving you through how to create an offer to sell. What is that offer? How do you package up your gifts and be really focused on selling 
that offer as your signature piece particular outcomes and these particular results and position yourself in a, in a, as an authority in that piece of problem that you're going to be solving. Um, we're also going to be working through how to beta test your offers, um, how to invite beta testers to, 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 to validate your offers, and then how to use that information to refine your marketing message and communication plan to be ready for marketing. And then of course, in the 90 days, we're going to prepare you on all the steps that's necessary for your launch plan. You know, what are the sort of activities that are actually going to matter to your launch that allows you to predict the customers that you can have when you actually launch your business and, and get, get paid to do the services or the products that you create into the world, right? Uh, but that's why it takes 90 days. This is a quarter of the year, uh, starting on June 5th, the personalization and the attention that you need to launch. And you'll be doing this intimately with me and 12 support group members and your council of people for the next 90 days. So if that's something that you're interested in, <clears throat> I'll also give you the application process. Uh, we only, it, we interview everybody um, to be really ready for this type of um, work. We have to make sure that you're in the right stage of the work. So to be able to talk to me, um, you can go on to screwthecubicle.com forward slash 90 day launch, which I put the link onto the screen um, for you to apply to speak to me. So this is, you know, a no cost call. I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to be focusing on based on your situation. And we're going to talk about whether or not the 90 day launch is a good fit for you or what you may need to work on first in order to prepare yourself uh, to launch your business. OK, so either way, either the webinar tomorrow that you can attend to really find out more about, about what you should be uh, focusing on in terms of activities and energy so that you're not feeling overwhelmed to do all the things. Um, and then if you would like to be considered for the 12-person uh, 90-day program uh, launch mastermind um, group program, I'm scheduled to speak to me and I'll be um, an invitation to the program. I'm definitely going to tell you what you need to focus on uh, to be ready for a program like this as well. OK, so as usual, I will always be checking um, the comments on the live streams after I end this broadcast. So please make sure to send me your questions about your struggles and your hurdles when it comes to launching your business or how to form this idea, right, of um, repurposing your gifts into a business idea and learning how to get paid to share your gifts into the world. I would love to hear from you. And also do let me know what you would love more live streams on in the future. That's going to be helpful for you to be confident and brave uh, about creating a life and a business outside of the cubicle uh, and sharing, sharing meaningful work into the world. I would love to hear from you and I'll be sure to, of course, uh, use your talk. Uh, thank you again for joining me. And I hope that was really helpful to you. Um, let me know what you thought. Give me your questions. And I hope to see you at the webinar tomorrow. Um, and I will talk to you soon. Have a great rest of your day or your night, wherever you are. See you later.